This is Brandon and Trevor here, your two favorite people to drink with. Today we are in downtown Muskegon. We're going to set up uh, our little booth here just to record an episode. So we're going to do a little walkthrough, show you guys exactly what they got going on down here at the Hot Rod Harley Davidson yep. shop. Rake Beer Project in downtown Muskegon, they brewed a beer just for this event. So we're going to try that out with three other beers, kind of in the same field of, uh, of beer style. But we're going to crack this one open and uh, give it a try. It's the first time that it's actually canned and brewed for today. So we're going to we're come down here and get you one. First beer going to try is Rake Beer Project Sonic Sunshine. This is a Belgian wheat with blueberry and lemon, and the artwork is just a good picture of beautiful downtown Mesquite. I think it's the pier, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, White House debt giveaway of a pier. Pier Marquette, I love it. 5.4% um, Belgian wheat with blueberry and lemon. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Up. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's why we keep her around. <laughs> Look at that dedication. <laughs> oh, that's a good pick. Great beer project, 5.4% Belgian wheat with blueberry and lemon. Creamy Belgian uh, body to it. The Belgian yeast kind of gives off like a, like a creamy banana, uh, kind of peppery flavor. And then the, the blueberry is honestly my favorite part of it. The color is coming through from yeah. the blueberries. And then the lemon just like cleans the palate afterwards for a nice, fresh um, finish. Yeah, crisp. It makes it crisp, easy drinking for sure. Like your blueberry and your lemon isn't overpowering. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, crisp, I don't know. It's good, yeah. Light, refreshing. It's more refreshing than an Oberon, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. It way easier drinking. Yeah. Like, drinkability on it is right up there, perfect summertime beer. Yeah, definitely. And I we do kind of get that banana-y cream and that, like, slight little pepper flavor from the from the Belgian yeast. The wheat gives off, like, a, like some fruity esters in there. Blueberry lemon, I mean, can you think of a better combination for uh, a summertime? No. Beer or dessert? Goes together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that the, the flavors were more pronounced in it, but yeah. I think at that point it would take away from the drinkability right. which I think that is that's like the key point of this yeah is definitely. it's a very drinkable beer I mean yeah. definitely is the perfect spot to come down and have one yeah definitely and I think right now the only place that you can get this is the hot rod Harley Davidson um, venue for the uh, the Lakeshore Legacy concert series so if you really want to try this out definitely come down here because this is really really uh, refreshing and perfect for uh, a nice summer concert oh yeah it's like do I want more flavor or do I want you know what I mean do I want the drinkability right, four three four three <laughs> Oh, I miss listening to this song, Pink Floyd, stoned to the bone in my room by myself, and just crying, you know, just letting out some good emotion. Just a good old-fashioned <laughs> cry. <laughs> what the? Do you remember? The can work on this is beautiful. Yeah, this one's kind of silly. Um, silly goose. Where are they at? Or should I say ghosts? <laughs> Second beer. I've actually never had anything from this brewery, but I know they do some really cool stuff. This is Do You Remember Your Last Good Hair Day by Hoofhearted Brewing. This is a dessert Berliner Weiss, which is a sour, um, with lemon, marshmallow, vanilla, and milk sugar. Ooh, and that sounds pretty nice. Seven and a half percent. Hoofhearted Brewing is in North Haven, Connecticut. I try to keep them all in Michigan, but um, this was too good to pass up. And you can't blame me. No. Maybe that's what. Maybe that was like a bottom of a. Uh, wow. 
Yeah, I Have you ever poured before? <laughs> oh, man. Do I see a vanilla flake on the rim of the glass? That's 100% Cambodian. <laughs> oh my god. My god, dude. That's got a smell to it. And I'm like, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Alright, how far did you remember your last good hair day? Ah, uh, man, it's been a while. Yeah, well, when you wear hats 24 7. <laughs> That's why I wear hats, never a good hair day. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's lemon. I feel like I just ate a piece of lemon ring pie. This is about my guy. And I wouldn't expect anything more or less from that description of what that beer is. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Very lemony. Yeah, so it is super lemony, but I think that the marshmallow, the milk sugar, and the vanilla kind of cut the acidity of the lemon, so you can still tell that there's a bunch of lemon, but it's not like... Oh, I mean, at the beginning, covering. it's a little bit. You're not expecting it compared to the, yeah. the rake lemon. That's really good. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think that all those flavors could be so in your face and not overpowering each other. You get the vanilla, the lemon, and the marshmallow. It's, I mean, I, it's like layered. Yeah. Like 100%. Like a pie? Thick, yes. <laughs> <laughs> lemon meringue pie? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, for my first hoof hearted beer, I'll tell you right now, I am going back. And getting more. You're gonna go to Connecticut? I'm, I will drive. I will pack this table up right now, and I will go <laughs> if they do other things like this. I'm telling. You, yes, it's so lemony at the beginning that you don't think that it can come back from the amount of lemon. At like, you're like, wow, that's a lot of lemon. And then the marshmallow, <laughs> vanilla, and milk sugar. Just <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hit it with a four seven. Ooh, came in strong. I'm there. I, I, if, if it had a little bit more vanilla or marshmallow, it would be like a 4.8. So I'm going to probably just hit it with a 4.6. <laughs> this being a 4.4 beer is... <laughs> <laughs> so we're down to a 3. <laughs> no. I hate this beer. <laughs> Why would you brew this? <laughs> no. I'm, uh, I'm at a 4.6. 4.6 is a very just... I think it's probably the perfect score for this beer yeah a little bit more marshmallow to cut the acidity from the lemon but the lemon flavor is great it's just it is a little sharp but it does make it easier to drink it does on a hot day you cannot tell this is a seven and a half percent beer oh no absolutely not never but it's not thick it's not yeah doesn't have like that it is clean crisp yeah yeah four six I, I think I love it yeah Third beer, Broadleaf Brewing, uh, Sour Lake with guava, passion fruit, and orange. 5% uh, alcohol. Trevor doesn't like guava. I knew that when I bought it, but I, you can't you can't pass it up. So Broadleaf is actually like a, uh, a sister company or a daughter company to um, uh, Brewery Vivant. It's just like a, like a side project, like a side hustle brewery for Brewery Vivant. So kind of like more experimental? Yeah. Probably? Yep, yep exactly. One cool thing about uh, Brewery Vivant and uh, Broadleaf is that some of them do have this braille on it. I, I just felt like I needed to say that. It is pretty cool. It is cool. This is pouring super light and crisp. No haze to it at all. That that almost looks like a bush latte. You pouring up latte or? Oh, wrong can. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't come here because you were ready to rock. <laughs> 5% Sour Lake by Broadleaf. Mmm. Orange. It smells like passion fruit. It smells like passion fruit and orange. That's good. Tastes like mostly orange. I don't get any guava, which I'm assuming you're probably no. excited about. Yeah, like no, no guava mouthfeel at all. This just one. I like it. <laughs> yeah, but it's really it's not caracara -cara orange. I can tell you that right now. No, that's um. That's like Tropicana orange. Yeah, that's a, that's a Florida orange, born and raised. <laughs> <laughs> Florida boy. <laughs> Super, super light, crisp, um, not overly sour. You can just tell that it's a sour beer. Um, it actually isn't like lingering or making, you know, hitting the, the, the sours back here. Um, orange is the biggest one. Passion fruit is kind of in there. Guava I don't get a lot of, and he's not a fan, and yeah. I could take it or leave it, but um, it's, it's really flavorful, easy, crisp. 
Oh, easy drinking for sure. Yeah. I feel like the orange is almost like a vitamin C yeah. flavored orange. Like a like a rind. That makes like sense. a peel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that is that orange zest? No. Did or? they say orange peel? Yeah. <laughs> orange peel. Uh, the pulp or <laughs> for how clear? Yeah. And crisp it is. You would not think it would have that much orange flavor. Yeah. Because right. the orange flavor, like that's the most predominant flavor. Yeah, you think it'd be it, murky and like orange juice yeah. with the amount of flavor that's coming out of it. But yep. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of guava to come through. I wouldn't mind seeing vanilla in it. Yes. I would love to see some vanilla but in there. Kind of just having a fruit sour is nice. Yeah. That's because good. it is so light and crisp and you get away like with all the lactose sugar and vanilla, you kind of get away from... The, the fruit taste. Yeah, right. It masks the taste of the fruit, and I feel like this is super fruity. Yeah. And just, I mean, it's a tad on the sour side. Okay. It's just like a tart, really light-bodied orange juice flavor with a little bit of tropical, you know, just d dusted in there. Um, super clean and crisp. I, I, got, I got nothing else to say. It's just right. a really nice, light, refreshing summer beer. Sour Lake? More like Sour Ocean, because it's bringing me... To, to the, the beach. beach. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to Sandals, Jamaica, this beer better be on tap, dang it. <laughs> With the drinkability and the orange flavor, it's a very unique orange flavor, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's not, because we're. I feel like we're so used to Cara Cara oranges, that seems to be what the only orange that you can the, find in a beer yeah the, the the trend yeah this actually reminds me of like an orange essential oil it's kind of the riney flavor that gives it that kind of lowers the score a little bit i feel yeah. like yeah if the guava or the passion fruit came out a little bit more it'd probably kind of mellow that out mm -hmm. and that's kind of kind of what i was expecting but it's good yeah very four. good four four, four. Point oh. nashville tennessee y'all and then we got, oh, this might be good. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> shh, 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 I'm quiet on set. <laughs> Fourth and final beer. This is Three Berry Hill by Southern Grist Brewing, which is in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Never heard of them, uh, but saw the ingredients and said, yeah, we probably should get that on there. This is a 5.4% uh, sour ale brewed with lactose, raspberry, blueberry, and strawberry. All the berries. Three of them, to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> I see what they did there. Yeah. Woo! Three berries by Southern Grist. This is actually quite the opposite of the last one that we had. This is all body and really minimal fruit flavor. Yeah. But then actually the raspberry and strawberry kind of come through towards the end. I'm getting that now. It's like a... Uh... Man, that's weird. It's all body and like lactose and then kind of like a sour. Mm -hmm. And then the fruit kind of slide in like a slip and slide all the way down and then hits you at the end. And it's actually really not that bad of a fruit flavor. It is pretty good, but it's really, really light. It's more body yeah. than it is fruit. The aftertaste is very like jammy, mm -hmm. like sweet. It's Almost like a strawberry shortcake-ish. Yes, yeah. And if they could have put some marshmallow in there, I'll guarantee that would have... Some malo and some lactose sugar. Set it right off. Clearly a lot of fruit. Yeah. I feel like there should be more flavor. Yeah. It's a, it says it's a sour ale, but this actually is drinking like borderline a smoothie sour. That strawberry jam flavor at the end is it's nice. quite nice. Actually, I get more raspberry. Well, it's like a raspberry strawberry mix. Raspberry strawberry, I mean... They just you're kind of splitting hairs here. This one's poking that taste bud. The other one's poking. <laughs> that. It's just a party. I will meet you with a three six. Because yeah, it's not that it's bad. It's just not much flavor outside of the beer. Yeah. Until the aftertaste and the aftertaste, like you're searching for it and you want more. Yeah. Like you want more flavor, but it never really comes. Right. It's just leaving you hanging the entire time. Yeah. It'll get you full, that's the problem. Yeah. With not a lot of flavor. 3-6. Three, 3-6. Six. Three, six. Southern Grist, um, the, uh, the three berry. Big body, little flavor. Rakes, although is third, was still really, really good. Nice, light, refreshing. Blueberry flavor, lemon flavor, uh, wheat. A flavor, Belgian flavor, I mean everything that you that's in it you got. Broadleafs Sour Lake, super light body with a whole bunch of 
essential oil, orange rind flavor, which I really liked. I gotta give it to Hoof Hearted. That lemon meringue pie flavor is unbeatable. No one's gonna replicate that, and it was extremely unique. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, and I gotta be honest, I'm not even gonna change nothing there. No change. No change. The Southern Grits just needs some more flavor. Uh, rake, for location, can't beat it. Right, yeah. For being available at the event that yep. we're at right now, you'll always and get that. And made for the event. I think it was the perfect beer that they could have made for it. Broadleaf, I really like that. The yeah. orange rind flavor, I'd like to see a little bit more orange, not so much the rind. I know you like that. Or, or passion fruit or guava. Yeah. Bump those up but, to kind of cut the... Yeah, the crispness of it and the orange flavor. Like, it was a lot of orange flavor. Mm -hmm. and Very good. But yeah, half hearted that lemon meringue pie almost did it almost speechless yeah because it's like when you first taste it you're like oh wow but then it's like it just oh, comes along wow yeah. <laughs> it's crazy are you fucking serious <laughs> is that your ringtone <laughs> p-i-m-p by 50 cent <laughs> i'm only laughing because he's laughing <laughs> I think it's sweet as hell. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Another episode of Drinking Buddies. Super fun. Nice uh, summer sour uh, episode. I just want to say thank you, uh, Terry Puffer, the Lakeshore Legacy uh, Free Summer Concert Series Project, and uh, Van Dyke Mortgage Center for letting us kind of set up shop and do our thing here. Yeah. We're going to try to be out here every Saturday. Um, if anyone wants to come down here, it is noon to 10 o'clock every Saturday all throughout summer in downtown Muskegon. So. And it's free. And it's free. Did we mention that? Yeah. You can't really beat that. In beautiful downtown Muskegon. And they're going to be selling Rake's beer that we just reviewed uh, the entire summer. So you're definitely going to want to come down here and yep. try that out. Exclusive beer just for this event. So if you get the chance, if you have a, a Saturday for free, come down here. Yep. Each weekend is a new genre of music. Uh, tonight is rock. Um, you can check out the uh, Lakeshore Legacy Project uh, Facebook page for a uh, itinerary for the entire summer of what's going to be coming up next. So... Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks yeah. for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.